Let's talk about this year's show um, and your role as a visual caption head, visual co-caption head. Could you tell me a little bit about what the Lakota East Marching Band is doing differently this season and last season than they have before? Well, we're really focusing on the dance training and a lot of the, you know, just new innovative choreography. Uh, it's just something that we, we really want to do with the, you know, we're doing the whole Mondrian thing and just trying to be artsy about everything. So. Yeah. It's definitely a more sophisticated show. Um, and it's called Line, Shape, and Color. Could you tell me a little bit about how it gets from start to finish, kind of the progression of the imagery and the visualization? Sure, absolutely. So the beginning uh, is a lot of just like straight lines, you know, um, very uh, angular drill and, you know, choreography, trying to represent that that theme. And then the, the ballad is actually, you know, just any kind of shape that we can make with the body and even the music in that, you know, it's just kind of just shaping every moment. And then the color is just putting it all together and just being as, you know, colorful with everything we have. Can you explain to me a little bit about like what different elements you have had to teach the kids so that the, the performers so that they're able to you know rise up to this challenge? Sure, uh, it's it's a lot of just dance basics, you know, tendus, uh, a lot of plies, things like that, and just different muscle groups, and that's what we talk about a lot is the different mus uh, musculature uh, engagement that we have to use for all those things. Thinking bigger picture now, how has the band come? How far has the band come since you know setting the setting the show on the field? Um, you know, you guys performed in the Indianapolis Super Regional, made finals, and now you're here in Grand Nationals. Yeah, uh, it's been a great season. It's been a long one. This is the first time we've come to the Grand National Championships, uh, so it's been a, a bit of a a bit of a, um, a, a stretch for them. You know, it's the first time they're going through this length of a season, um, but it's been exciting. The kids are working really, really hard. They're really excited about that. Uh, the staff as well. So. Yeah. How is it? How have they? Or let's just get the logistics out of the way. Like, what has your day been like today? You know, going on a little early yeah. um, in the day. Uh, so I, we, you know, we're from Liberty Township, which is a little bit north of Cincinnati. I woke up at 4:45 today <laughs> and drove here all the way from there. Um, you know, and we're we're going to be here until about I want to say about three o'clock or so. And then our football team actually has a playoff game tonight, so we have to go back and do that tonight. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah. Wow. So the whole band came. What what time? They got here at eight o'clock, but they left the school at five. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Did you have rehearsal last night too? Yes, we did. We had a community performance, it was pretty cool. Wow, and then you just have to go into a football game and then hopefully come back Saturday for another yeah. performance. Yeah, that's what we're hoping. Yeah, I would, as your first Grand Nationals, I'm curious of what your kind of expectations are going into this, or is it just, you know, perform? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're soaking up the moment right now. You know, this is our first chance at, you know, making semifinals and everything like that. Obviously, we want to be in that competition, but, it, you know, we're, we're not going to be down on ourselves if we don't get it. And actually, I thought of something else, the way you guys use your uniforms also. Yeah to do color changes. Can you talk about how visually you're showing that on the field through the props and, and the uniforms? Yeah, actually, um, you know, one of the big moments is actually in the pre-show. I noticed last year, my first year here, um, that the black and white contrast from the front being the white and the back being, you know, solid black, that anything turning, you know, front to back would be a huge color shift. So we have a, there's a uh, sample in the pre-show that says color and they do a ripple and it just kind of goes this way and it, uh, use the white to kind of progress that down the field. But, you know, we take, we take any chance we get to have that color contrast front to back. So. Can you get into a little bit more about the shapes that you're creating in the middle segment of the show? Yeah. Um, you have the big, uh, wind, window pane yeah, kind they're, of props? They're, yeah, they're like cloth squares. Uh, I mean, we, we manipulate them as much as we can. They've got the swing flag kind of in them as to kind of just a little, um, kind of a little variation on, you know, the, the regular like one swing flag and then breaking them out into two. Um, you know, we, we, make a, we make a cube at one of, the, one of the points in the show and it kind of rotates uh, in the beginning of the, the second movement there. And yeah, they're just the, you know, the color contrast again from front to back with those because it's white on one side, black on the other. And then you start pulling out the swing flags, you yeah. get all the color. Um, and can you explain to people who don't really understand what uh, the Mondrian style of art is and right. how it fits into your show? Yeah, I mean, uh, we really focused on just the, the keeping, you know, the restricted color into space kind of thing. And that's just whole, his whole thing was, you know, just being, you know, keeping that color in those boxes like the like painting we use.